Hi there, my name is Julie Faithan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you my favorite way to travel with my Scan and Cut using my rolling tote. with my scan and cut tote and you know it has my scan and cut because it says so on the tag and you know it's mine because it has my business card right inside. So that's just here on the telescoping handle, which obviously you can take because this is a rolling tote, which allows you to drag things around. There is a double zipper here, which is great, and that's how you can open up the inside. But before we do that, I do want to point out that there are handles on the side for lifting it up. And then also there's this front pocket. It has a Velcro closure. And one of the things I like to do is when I have a lot of designs that I'm going to take because I want to scan them or use them or something like that, this pocket is a great place to just slip that in and then it just Velcro right up so it's nice and secure. Okay, so when you open it up inside, there are these clear pockets. Now, what is awesome about clear pockets is obviously that when you open them up, whatever you put in it, you can see. So if I'm going to drop my pens in there or anything like that, I can see what's in there. I don't have to think about it. Um, here, of course, is an assortment of lovely things that you'll need with your scan and cut all in your pouch. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop them all in. I've got my deep cut blade tool, my standard blade, my style my pen holder tool, my spatula, and of course my all-important USB which has tons of my designs on it that I might want to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and put that all in and I can just close up my pouch and again I can just put it right in here no problem and now I can see that and I can zip up this pocket and I know what's in here. The other pocket I think is perfect for your cord for your scan and cut. Now your scan and cut cord actually comes in two parts which you know because you set it up and I'm just going to go ahead Ahead and in my messy way, I'm, I've never been accused of being neat, by the way. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there and I can easily see what I have. So I'm just going to pop that in and I'm going to go ahead and zip it up. And again, I can see what I have. So next thing is, now this is, this is I think, the coolest thing on earth. So there's this black sort of... Um, fuzzy, soft, I don't know, matte surface thing, something like that. And it fits a scan and cut perfectly because it was designed for that. And when you pull up the sides like this, this is the easiest way I've ever seen of picking, I'm going to get a workout now, of ever picking up your scan and cut, right? And then it makes it super easy to just place right down into the tote like so. But even better than that, it makes the taking out a single-handed, super easy affair, no problem, just in and out, just like that. Now, your mats. Now these mats are big, I'm not going to lie, and it's not always easy to fit them somewhere. However, the Scan and Cut Tote has two pockets on the inside that are the exact size you need to go ahead ooh, and store your mats totally flat. Now what about the big, huge bad boy, right? What about this guy? Well, we've got a solution for him too, but I'm going to show you that to you last because here's my tip, which is put in your 12 by 24 inch mat last and you'll always be happy because you can also also use those flat pockets for all sorts of things like let's say this wood veneer, paper, other materials you want to cut. You can go ahead and put it inside right in that pocket flat and you know it's not wrinkly, bumpy, nothing's going to happen to it. Now with this big boy, here's what we're going to do. What you're going to do is you're going to curve it. So I'm going to put this right into the, um, the pocket with the other mats. Then I'm going to curve it over the top of my machine and put it down into the other pocket. Boom perfect. It's not folded. It's not anything else. It's perfect and ready to go. So I'm ready to close it up and I can use that double zipper to zip it up. And then I can use the handles to pick it up and I can use the other handle to telescope up and roll away. And I'm ready to go with my scan and cut. One last tip. If you're a sewer or a stitcher like me, you can take your brother's sewing machine and you can put it right into your scan and cut tote instead of your scan and cut. So that way you only have to have one tote, but it does two things. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balzerdesigns.tightpad.com. And don't forget about the scan and cut website at scanandcut.com.